Hello and welcome in. I am Miss Kinghorn and we are back here in The Sims 4 and we are back building another family suburban home and this time it is for the Kent family. Now this is only a two bedroom, two and a half bathroom uh, home here. It looks quite big but let me tell you it is a weird shape um, and it actually makes this quite a challenging build um, I've got to be honest. So there were just two bedrooms upstairs um, and then there's two bathrooms as well so the main sort of parents bedroom has its own little ensuite and then there's like a kids bedroom as um, bathroom as well and then there's like a half bath downstairs with a um, like the laundry in it as well. So lots of different opportunities in there as well for your sims but uh, this is in the courtyard lane district or neighbourhood of Winlow Creek um, I mean, it's been a while since I've actually built in Winlow Creek I've got to be honest but I thought this would be a nice little place for this home in here um, <laughs> fighting with the chimney for some weird reason um, it just was not really working for me in here but uh, yeah this is where I decided to go blue and then realised that I have literally only just done a blue build so thought that was probably not the best uh, to do in here and then using some stonework from I think we go for the one from um, growing together which I actually really like um, that in here there's kind of a lot of that some of the sort of latest packs have actually been really good and kind of all worked together which was a nice sort of change so obviously this we've now gone for probably my second favourite colour at the moment is yellow um, and we've kind of gone for a yellow and white kind of build, very sort of creamy, nice sort of soft um, colours into here as well. I feel like this house looks really, really big. It, it's weird. It's one of those builds that it's kind of like a reverse TARDIS. It looks really big from the outside, but inside it's actually quite small um, in here. And we're using two different sort of roof trims. This is something I don't tend to do, but I really like the one from... Um, for rent where it's kind of got like the little sort of uh, diamonds or plum bobs I suppose it's probably more of an accurate term um, in there and I just thought for that sort of main part of the house it looked really nice that they were all in there like that and then kind of on the pop out sort of bits in the sides it kind of is that normal sort of standardised trim and I think that works in there really really well in there so I do change up the floor plan a little bit. Um, I've got to be honest, the two bedrooms are pretty, I think they're about the same sort of size tile wise, but when it actually comes to fitting stuff in them, it's a little bit of a challenge. Um, I've got to be honest, it is a bit of a challenge to get those in there. But we're working here on the garden. I kind of wanted this to look kind of very simple and but kind of like a, a nice little suburban kind of garden that they've maybe cared a little bit about it but not overly too much nice simple easy plants um all in kind of like the same sort of color theme that we would normally do but very low maintenance and i feel like that's probably something that this build really does really well it's a tiny little fence out the front here uh just a nice little debug fence um just to kind of break up that sort of front area into here and then just some big shrubs and plants and bushes and stuff like that coming in to there and then I feel like we use a lot of kind of like orangey uh, kind of creamy sort of yellowy kind of plants as well just to add those sort of soft little pops of colour but it is mainly kind of green and different shades of green which I think work really really well together and then nice little sort of growing, maybe creeping plants up the sides of the build. And then, yep, we uh, change out a few bits and pieces so it all comes together for the front here. So, yep, and then we're going to place in the uh, sort of shutters um, in here. I kind of do these all the way around on most of the windows, but I think I only show you the front ones here because otherwise it will be here forever and that's not fun so a couple of little plants out here as well and little window boxes and things like that little hanging basket here and then as per usual a nice little sort of doorbell 
it is just a standard light, so it does light up, but there are lights above because there's like this covered sort of porch area. I put in just some light bulbs from the laundry day um, stuff pack. Feels like that pack came out so long ago. I mean, it did, but it's something that I don't tend to use because they're just like bare light bulbs and a little bit boring. But I thought for these sort of outdoor areas, they would really work. So that's what I kind of wanted to do in here. And then, as sort of I said earlier, with the kind of garden being a little bit low kept, I kind of wanted to add these little sort of plants and little flowers coming up through the grass. I just kind of dotted those all around sort of everywhere so that it's a little bit more kind of random and a little bit more lived in. Maybe there are little weeds or something like that. Kind of that's what I was thinking in there. And then I changed out the gravel path to those sort of stone slabs because they just added a nice little texture and something a little bit different to my builds um, than what I do normally. So inside, lots of doors, lots of archways going through. Um, this, this was a fun build to do, I've got to be fair. It did kind of throw a few challenges here and there, but I actually really liked what I did with this in there. New little trick um, that I've used a couple of times, but I thought this would really work in here. So just some open doors. So you put in an archway and then just add a diagonal wall in and then connect the door to that um, and then obviously delete the wall and you have a door that's like it's pinned open a little bit. So it's a little bit more lived in, kind of normal everyday house into there. But we're now jumping on to the inside here. So this is a nice big entrance hall, very big, um, very big for the kind of the size of the house I've got to be honest. But um, it fitted really nicely in this sort of pop out area. So, just a few bits and pieces, and then a little bit of clutter. Here we go. I have the clutter in here. Um, I do actually show you quite a lot of uh, sort of pulling out some of my favourite pieces in here. Um, I feel like I use like the same pieces over and over, but they are like my favourite kind of pieces, so I feel like it's kind of okay. And they fit with like any build nothing in here is kind of like specific to this build um but it all kind of really works together which i absolutely love and it kind of all fits and comes together into here so this new um hallway table from the jewelry um kit crystal creations kit is super cool i try to use as much if i was going to use like a kit or a stuff pack or something i do try to use a few items from that pack to actually make it worthwhile you like you having that sort of pack um especially with some of like my favorite sort of packs and stuff i tend to use those the same sort of over and over again so if you see something um it's probably in most of my builds um in here but a nice little mirror and a little chair for putting your shoes on waiting for somebody who's getting ready for you on your way out it could even be like a timeout chair something like that however you want to play but then we're gonna move in here to the living room which looks really big oh no it really isn't um, in here and it proved a bit of a challenge you can see here I'm trying to figure out a way to get a TV in and there really wasn't I ended up placing it here above the fireplace but then when I sort of came to like playtesting and checking all of that out I don't think for some of the seating you could actually see a lot of the TV so will would that be there? Probably not, but I feel like in the same you could get away with that. So that's kind of what I did. Um, into here, and then using a few items from the book nook kit. I still absolutely love this sofa. This sofa and the armchair, I absolutely love. The other one, I'm not too sure about. I've got to be honest, I don't feel like I use that enough. Um, it's nice, but it's not something I would use repeatedly in there. It's kind of got like a wooden frame to it, so it just doesn't really fit anywhere. But um, yeah, these sort of nice grey kind of fluffy sofas in there look really cool. And then lots of toys, as I say, there are two uh, kids in this house. So I wanted it to be very, very loved, lived in. And I'm loving putting the new sort of tiger um, toy up on things. So you can see here it's up on the stool. You've got the big teddy on the um, toy chest. And I think it just adds that sort of level of... Maybe like they all just get dumped in the corner, out of the way, 
like the kids finished playing with them and they've just sort of like ran away and done something else that's kind of what i was thinking in there i do actually change out the sort of victorian castle doll's house sort of style um i do end up changing that to the one from the little campers um and you'll see why so later on in here but then there's the dining room so this is at the end of sort of like the hallway um and this this is a bit of a, another weird sort of space because it's kind of like th it's got three doors really in it um it's obviously got the one from the hallway one into like the second sort of hallway um that then leads to the kitchen and then these back doors it was a tight fit to get anything in here so i end up using the tool chest from um crystal creations and i just place it with some cups and some plates maybe it's like the family's fine china it's maybe something that's been passed down from generations and it only gets pulled out on like special occasions or something like that and it's just kept in a nice big storage cabinet that's kind of what i was thinking along those sorts of lines in here and then just a nice simple table and four chairs maybe they don't have too many people around socializing that's kind of what i was thinking in here there's no other extra chairs um and i have built this for a family of four so it kind of fits in there really nicely and it just means that you sims can walk all the way around it and now i didn't really set out what kind of career or who the people were especially not at this stage when it came to kind of building any of this but i did want a nice little office kind of space and i was thinking about putting it up in the sort of parents bedroom but honestly it didn't i kind of looked at it and it wasn't really going to fit so in the end i changed this out and had it down here in this sort of weird little tuck away little space um that I, I did think could have been part of the kitchen but it just would have made it so poppy and like it pops out as it is and i thought this would be a little bit too far but then this is where the sort of half bathroom comes in as well in that little sort of space behind there and um as i say i get the laundry uh, washing machine and that in here as well so you have got that but i do think um i have forgotten the laundry baskets <laughs> so you have the washing machine and the tumble dryer and a clothesline in the garden but i did forget the washing baskets so the clothes hampers so it's gonna make a little bit of a mess but to be fair i feel like the laundry is still really bugged like you change your clothes once and the baskets are full up so it doesn't really make much sense um in terms of that but this is the kitchen um as i say it's a kind of a weird shape it's was kind of the best thing i could kind of really do with this sort of shape in here um i tried to keep the clutter and sort of that all to a bit of in here so yes there is clutter but it is very small amounts and a little bit more simplistic than what i would normally do in here because i feel like this is a modern sort of family home where maybe they do tidy up maybe they are in the middle of baking a cake and that's why the mix is out but everything else like that is kind of tucked away and sort of lots of space for them in there now because this is a weird space i felt like we needed something in here i did think about putting maybe like an island or just more counters but in the end i thought let's put out a small kind of dining table in here like as a breakfast table and then you have like your main dining room um in the rest of the build so yeah that is now the downstairs complete we are up here and this was originally going to be the main bedroom uh, but you can kind of see how weird of a shape it is and in the end I changed it out here for the kids bedroom and it feels like it's too big for one kid but not quite big enough for two so I went for the bunk beds um I've got to be honest I'm not a fan of bunk beds um personally I had a sort of a tall cabin bed every morning did I hit my head on the ceiling um so i'm not a great fan of them but uh, i thought for here it would work out really really well and we kind of went for a dinosaur thing so there is lots of blue lots of green a little bit of orange coming through as well but lots of sort of dinosaurs and kind of like yeah just just lots of clutter and lots of lots of stuff everywhere as well so i did kind of envision two kind of boys living in here 
so I felt like mess, clutter, like they don't clean up after themselves, it's it's their space and they kind of can make it as messy as they sort of really want and then once every so often mum will shout at them to clean the room as I think is pretty much common uh, for anyone in here but yeah lots of clutter, lots of going in. I did play test and they can get up onto both of the beds in here as well so they can use all of that um, in here there is just a few little clipping things so like I have placed a book and there's a pillow that goes on the bottom bunk they just clip through but that doesn't stop your sims from actually using either of the beds as well in there now the teddy I've just put in that corner that doesn't work um, because it's kind of they can't root to it but I do put in another dinosaur one in here as well which they can use um, you'll see that in just a minute but uh, yes I, uh, this room I love I feel like I can do boys bedrooms better than I can do girls bedrooms I feel like I really struggle with like either teenage or kids child sort of bedrooms I feel like nurseries are kind of okay but anything other than that I'm like I really struggle with them so I tend to like go for like boys bedrooms I feel like they're easier and a little bit more simple to do I feel like style wise I can do those where everything else I really really struggle with in there so in here I actually place a desk um, although we've got like the computer downstairs I did think that we needed like a sort of a desk homework area kind of maybe craft space something like that for them up here as well as something a little bit sort of like their own kind of time where they can do homework and things up here other way just for them as a nice little area and it obviously fills in a nice little bit of space in that room in here now this is the main bedroom so this is for the parents i kind of do this in a nice sort of creamy soft light wood and then um i think it's got like hints of blue coming through as well in like the rugs and the bedding and stuff in here as well i do try to use that rug from the uh, little campers because i really wanted to use as much as i can from that pack but it just did not work uh, in here it kind of looks like a like a tarpaulin kind of like a bumpy kind of quilted blanket and it, it just didn't feel right to me so i changed that out in here for this really nice sort of blue creamy colored one into there but uh, more clutter. I feel like with these sort of main like parent bedrooms, if I have, if I know that there's going to be like two Sims living in a bedroom or sharing a bedroom, I do try to make sure that there are like two wardrobes. I feel like I have a lot of clothes, and I feel like if there was two people living in my room, there'd be nothing else but wardrobes. Um, my room is literally made up of wardrobes. I've got to be honest. Um, because there is just so much stuff and then obviously two people I feel like it just need to obviously in game that doesn't really make much sense given the fact that you really only need like one in an entire build but a little bit of realism coming through into there and then this is onto the back garden so we add in a small little pool in here for them um, a nice little sort of lounger going in and then I actually place in a ball um it's like a football in here for them maybe it's kind of like a little beach ball kind of that they could throw it between the two um that sort of thing maybe they can dunk it or hit each other with it i don't know um you can kind of do imagine whatever you want to do it is just a normal in-game sort of ball that um i think it's like sims can sort of like kick around so obviously if you take it out of the swim pool you can just have it on the ground and you can just like kick it between each other or something um i did have to scale it up a little bit so you might have to downsize but that's fine into there and now a nice big sort of patio area out here um i feel like this is probably very realistic for kind of like builds um a nice sort of patio for those odd occasional sunny days in the uk and just a few little planters not too many plants out the back here um a nice and sort of simple garden i do place a fence all the way around and then some sort of hedging in there as well 
and um, I get out some tall sort of pl- tree kind of plants in there. Maybe they bought them as like little ones and they've sort of grown over the years. That's kind of what I was thinking for those. But they make nice sort of area just around sort of the front uh, by that back door. So sort of you can just sort of imagine that they've planted a couple of little plants in there and they've sort of grown over the years and then I thought this little area over here could be a nice little space to do some sort of gardening and things like that and water balloons and just some activities for the kids out here as well and then get some bikes in because they're super cute and as I say we've got two little boys in this house so I feel like running around in the garden uh, getting wet getting muddy would be really cool in here and a few little accessories and toys swing set and the little um, I think monkey bars in there and then a little bit so and so that but we are quickly coming up to the end of this video so if you have enjoyed it then please give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you all mean so very much to me and I hope you have enjoyed this build and I will be back very very soon with another one but until next time stay happy and stay building bye everyone